if I was a party. I'll get all the bitches. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You know who this is. You know what it be. It's me. This video today is going to be me telling you guys how I would behave if I was a man. It's not supposed to be a funny video, but I feel like it might be a little bit funny. But it also will be really relatable because I also want to be talking to the boys. Because I feel like you guys don't know what you're doing. And I feel like you guys are kind of lost. You guys always are talking about the girls are doing this, the girls are doing that. But what are you guys doing for us? You guys are not doing anything. And I'm going to tell you what I would do if I was a man. Hoping, hopefully, that you guys will take pointers from this and do these things. So that way women can have faith in you guys once again. Because right now, all faith is gone. You don't trust these niggas. These niggas ain't loyal. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start by saying this. A girl loves an independent man. Let me also say this. Some girls, this will not relate to. Some girls don't give a fuck. If you have a good dick. And she wants some dick and that's it. And she's satisfied with your dick. And she likes when you beat her and stuff like that. And she don't have a problem that you cheat on her a lot. And that's what you like too. Then you guys are meant for each other. If you have a girl who is always complaining. Like you don't spend time with her. You don't take her places. You don't do nothing for her. She's the one that's always paying for the meals. Fix it. Fix it Lord. Fix it Jesus. If I was a guy, I would make sure that I was a hustler. If I couldn't get a job, if I didn't like my boss, if I didn't like to be told what to do, I will hustle my ass off. There would be no way that I wouldn't have money in my bank account if I was a man. Because even though nowadays men like to go Dutch and they like to get shit from women, I will be the type of man that a lot of women like. The type of guy who opens doors and pays for meals. Girls love that. Get dressed. For what? Food. Girls love food all you gotta do is feed them all you gotta do is feed us we're like animals feed us and we're happy we're loyal that's all you gotta do i would always make sure i had money in my bank account not only to feed my woman but also to pamper her and show her that she's appreciated i read an article the other day about a man saying that he can't afford his wife and i'll post the link below if i can find it he was saying he can't afford his wife because of the type of work that she does the type of things she does around the house and he doesn't know how to show his appreciation towards her because sometimes she wants to buy stuff and he kind of feels like he makes her feel guilty like oh well I don't have enough to, for it and he's not saying he can't afford his wife as if he's broke he's not broke he makes money he's able to support him and his wife and his son but he feels like his wife deserves more and he can't afford to pay her what she's worth which is really sweet and which is how most men should look at relationships I'm sure she's content in her relationship and they're having and they have a great relationship she probably didn't even know the way he felt but he made a nice little article which I'll link below so you guys can read it it's really cute I got super sidetracked. Um, in case y'all didn't know, I have ADD. I'm trying to get that diagnosed, I guess, a medicine or something. If I lived far away from my girl, I will always make sure that she was happy. If there was a day where she was like, I just had a bad day, the next day, better believe she's gonna have a basket of edible arrangements at her front door with a note saying, feel better, sweetie, or some shit like that. What is that like? $15 and she'll feel like a million bucks do small things like this for her all the time another thing a lot of men are not consistent at the beginning of a relationship you are so persistent and consistent and a girl gets used to that at the beginning of a relationship she's so nice to you she does anything you want and she's always so happy and then as the relationship progresses you stop doing the things that she remembers you doing at the beginning of the relationship like opening the door and carrying her bags and you know stuff like that you don't do any of those things anymore so she's kind of like uh i don't even really know why i like you and then you're like man she's so ungrateful like i did so much for her and whoop de whoop whoop like okay you did so much for her but the whole point to my point and to my madness is consistency you can't start off a way that you cannot continue to be you can't start off giving her flowers every day and then one day you just don't bring her flowers she'll be like who the fuck you fucking who pussy you was in last night because i didn't get no flowers what the fuck i did to you this is how girls think and i'm trying to help y'all out you're welcome a lot of complaints that men give for having issues with their women is sex let's just go there why not scientifically proven fact it's not really scientifically proven i just said that because anyways women give you pussy when they happy 
it's probably not proven, but I'm telling you. So if your consistency is wearing off, then you ain't getting the pussy. And that's why, oh, she don't give me pussy no more like the way she used to. That's because you don't buy her flowers every day like the way you used to. Continue doing what you was doing, and she gonna continue doing what she was doing. I don't know if you guys have watched the movie Temptation with Lance Gross and that little skinny light skinned girl. The girl was getting tired of her husband because he wasn't, he didn't want to do no different stuff. Like, you can't be like, oh, let's go to Olive Garden today. It's like, nigga, but we went to Olive Garden yesterday and the day before that. Like, can we go somewhere else? Can we do some different shit? And you got to get creative. There's not a lot of romantic men out there anymore. Y'all really need to learn how to do this shit because there's levels. And there's some niggas that are on really high levels that'll snatch your bitch. And it's not because she ain't loyal. It's because you ain't shit. Sorry, I'm eating this apple. It's all over the place. Now, I don't agree on cheating to any extent. If you have a boyfriend, that's your boyfriend. Don't cheat on him. If you have a girlfriend, that's your girlfriend. Don't cheat on her. If you feel like cheating, fucking break up with her ass, cheat, and then get back with her. Even if that means you gotta send her a text like, I don't wanna be with you no more. Fuck that bitch. And in the morning, send her some flowers. I'm so sorry. I didn't wanna, you know, I just didn't wanna cheat on you. At least you didn't cheat. Just saying. No, it's up to the girl if she's gonna take you back or not. I mean, I wouldn't. You probably gonna miss so you can fuck some bitch. No, nigga. I made some pretty freaking valid points in this video. I can make more videos like this. If you really want to know how to keep your woman around and how to keep your woman happy and how to have a happy relationship. If your woman is not crazy, all these things that I just told you should work. And if you're with your girl anywhere, she should never reach for her wallet. That's just embarrassing. And it's not like she shouldn't, she should never buy anything for herself, of course. She's gonna have to pay her rent, she's gonna have to pay her bills. And if you guys live together, you guys can probably split the bills and shit, but when you're in public, Never should your girl feel the need to Dutch with you. I don't believe in going Dutch. Unless you guys are on the friendship level, a boy and a girl who are just friends, and you just are really close with your friend, but you want to hang out. Like, you know, that's the only time I believe in going Dutch. And even my male friends who are just friends with me will never let me reach in my purse and pull out my wallet and try to pay for something. They'll look at me like I'm stupid. But anyways, you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Subscribe to me. Subscribe to me. Please. I can't breathe from my nose. So eating this apple is really hard. I have a few male subscribers. I know I don't have that many. And I don't know how many straight male subscribers I have. I'm hoping that with this little men segment, how to treat your woman, and I can give you um at you men advice on how to deal with your women. And based on certain scenarios, send me an email. I have email links down below. I have like, personal email might not be down below. But I got a business email. I got an email for this channel. If you have any questions, there's an email for this channel. Send them there and I'll answer them in a video. Duh. If you really want to learn how to deal with your woman, I think I'm pretty good at dealing with women. Like, even me dealing with bitches. Like, just like my friends and stuff like that. I think I'm really good at dealing with them. And I think I can help you men deal with them too. So, if you guys really want to learn how to maintain and sustain a relationship and you're willing to take good advice, then hit me up. I got you. Or give me a fucking kiss before I fucking sock in your face. Mm.